Now, this illustration mainly deals where there's not any power present. We do not have utility power as of yet routed to this location, and we're using receptacles that are located on a 15 kW or less portable generator. That's in accordance with 590.6A3. Now, uh, 590, or excuse me, 490 would never apply here uh, if, if I previously stated that. It would only be uh, 590 type receptacles as we are reviewing here in the last uh, few illustrations that we've been reviewing. Now, notice in the illustration, two, uh, 250 volt receptacles, single phase, uh, uh, Single phase, uh, 15 or 20 amp, mainly 120 volt receptacles. Uh, they would require to be GFCI protected. Equipment grounds uh, are provided where you have metal hand tools that are uh, connected to provide equipment grounding of the metal of a hand tool back to the receptacle terminals. As you see in, uh, in 590.6A3, as well as 250.34a. But notice all these receptacles are bonded and grounded to the frame of the generator. And we show a basic uh, generator here. Uh, the newer generators naturally might look a little different. We're just showing you uh, uh, just a generator. And notice it's grounded to the metal frame. And we're talking about those U-grounds on those receptacles. Uh, manufactured or remanufactured portable generators rated 15 kW or less uh, prior to the first and first of 11 for those rules to see if they were required or not. You'd go to 590.6A3 and 250.34A. For permanently uh, portable generators, uh, then we'd have to go over to 445.11 because they're permanent. Here, these generators are portable. They're brought out any time portable uh, lighting is required. Many times out on road work, you'll see portable generators like this used to provide lighting instead of utility power. Sometimes out in areas, there is no utility power uh, available to us or when I say us, I'm talking about construction workers. So uh, we would have uh, that GFCI protection uh, provided there. Notice listed GFCI cord sets or uh, protective uh, devices, portable GFCIs is permitted prior to the first and first of 11. So we, we have to review these generators. When were they manufactured? And when did this when is this construction taken place? But receptacles on 15 kW or less portable generators, as outlined in 590.6 as in Apple 3, that's what this figure 10-40 uh, is uh, illustrating. And if we're in damp or wet locations, then 406.9 A and B has to be reviewed as well. So uh, that's what this illustration and figure 10-40 is illustrating to those folks using portable generators that are rated 15 kW or less and have the U-grounds on our receptacles would have to be bonded to the frame.